Hello everyone. In your Music Theory Workbooks, Unit 24 addresses musical nationalism and Tchaikovsky. In this lesson, we will learn about musical nationalism. In 1815, after Napoleon was defeated, the Congress of Vienna redrew the national boundaries of Europe, and many people found themselves under the rule of a new foreign government. Inspired by the American and French revolutions, many began to rise up and push back against their foreign leaders. A new sentiment of national loyalty and identity spread across Europe, and this sentiment became known as nationalism. It was early in the Romantic era when arts and music were already exploring the expression of emotion, so naturally the arts became a powerful voice for this new nationalistic movement. Some nationalist composers incorporated folk songs and patriotic anthems into their orchestral music. Others used more subtle compositional devices to create an ethnic character in their music. And some wrote program music that evoked images of national landmarks and cultural icons. Frederick Smetna was a Czech composer who wrote a collection of tone poems called Ma Vlast, or My Homeland. These works depict Czech landscapes and folklore. The second poem in this collection is about a river called the Moldau, which is frequently performed by itself. Smetna paved the way for his successor, Antonin Dvorak, a Czech composer whose nationalist orchestral works include his Czech suite and two sets of Slavonic dances. Edvard Grieg incorporated Norwegian folk songs into his music, Several of his more popular works include the Pier Gint Suite and the Holberg Suite, which was written to celebrate the 200th birthday of the Norwegian playwright named Holberg. John Sibelius was a Finnish composer best known for his Symphony No. 2, a violin concerto, and also a tone poem called Finlandia, which he wrote to protest Russian censorship in Finland's press. Aaron Copland was one of America's greatest classical composers. He used slow-moving harmonies and open textures to create images of the vast American landscape. He is best known for his works including Fanfare for the Common Man and the music from two ballets, Appalachian Spring, which includes the shaker tune Tis a Gift to be Simple, and Rodeo, which includes his famous hoedown. Musical nationalism created so much interest in ethnic music that some composers imported foreign styles from other countries into their own music, a practice that became known as exoticism. For example, Mendelssohn, who is a German composer, wrote a Scottish symphony and an Italian symphony. Rimsky-Korsakov, a Russian composer, wrote Capriccio Espanol, and Dvorak, a Czech composer, wrote an American string quartet, and also the New World Symphony. Now read the lesson in your workbook and complete the questions in the study guide to review this unit. In the next lesson, we will learn about Tchaikovsky. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.